bricks, with bricks, with bricks, with bricks, relax, with bricks, with bricks, relax, have a wax, relax, will you? Hello, Afawax. It's bag five. Let's do the knot. And now the piercing. Right then, bag five. Uh, let's get the uh, googly eyes up and ready. Uh, Gary Blair, hurrah uh, for Zibidee and his fabulous voice. May I suggest a tweaking? I do believe he would benefit from the addition of a lisp. No, no, I'm not giving him a lisp. No, sorry. No, I've got thoughts on this anyway. Uh, hang on, but we will, we will get to this now, obviously. Uh, we now have uh, Harry Potter. Monsieur le Harry Potter, la 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 Monsieur le Harry Potter, la 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 la. Of course, he gets a wand. Uh, here you go. Stick that in your in your little mitt. Hmm. Hello there. Right, off you go. Go and stand with the other cast members. You'll probably be bothered by Dawn French later, just to warn you. <laughs> no, you're not going on the pedestal, no. Um, Eric Oswald, because the 4th Air Independence Day is on a Saturday this year, we are getting Friday the 3rd off, so I'll be able to watch the dry run as well. My dog Fazio just went ballistic when he heard your dogs barking. Had to give him a ca a calming calm calm calming. Sorry, can't do that word in an American treat. <laughs> yes, you you'll get used to this, Eric. Uh, with the uh the the yip yapping of the of the various pups. They do like to get themselves involved. Uh, now. Uh, Kath Pearson has raised a very good point about uh, our good pal. Um, uh, oh, what is it? Well, we'll tell you in a minute. Off you, off you go. Off you go. Um, she says, although it does fit well, are we entirely happy with Zippity? Zippity Doodah. Uh, bearing in mind Disney are literally redoing the whole of Splash Mountain. Uh, due to the racist connections to the film from which the song comes. Now, this is a very good point. Uh, Zippity Doodah uh, is from a film called Song of the South, and it's uh, sung by a slave. And uh, Disney, I do believe, they are, you're entirely correct, um, they are in entirely redoing Splash Mountain uh, because it's based on that. Um, but in any event, so I don't think he should be called a uh, zippy, zippity doodah. Uh, in any event, I was looking at him this morning and one name was leaping out at me. It was literally leaping. And it's Brian. Brian Doodah. Yes, Brian Doodah, that's your name. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel all right about this. Brian Doodah. Yeah, Brian Duda. Do, do you need a hug? Yes, please. Well, oh, thanks. It's all right, Brian. It's all right, Brian. Can I go back over there now? Yeah, you can. Go on. 
Off you go. There you go. It's Brian Duda. I think it's. I think it's actually. I think it's better. He is a. He's a Brian. He's totally a Brian. Uh, Eric Oswald. How did Grumpy Mark end up with a Russian accent, or is that Transylvania? There's. There's no way of of knowing what uh, Grumpy Mark's uh, actual accent is. It, mostly because he's a man of great mystery. And uh, we like to very much keep him on his, on, on his toes, but I will tell you the story momentarily. Um, sounds like a, a cross between Count Dracula and Boris from, just did a burp, from Boris and Natasha, of course. Yet another nickname for him, Count Boris. P.S. I'm quite enjoying the historic architecture lesson. Oh, you'll love the architecture lessons. Trust me on that, Eric. You will absolutely love them. When, oh, do you remember when they started? Do you remember when Pink Lady came for the first time and gave us her first architectural lesson? Oh, it was just bliss, wasn't it? It's absolute bliss. Look, I'm putting in a, a thing there. Oh, let's go down because I think we're making something rather good now. Um, okay. We thought she was from Canada and we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Jillian B. Now, you will note yesterday that um, I took issue and said he is wearing a tuxedo, Jillian B. Well, she's fought, she's fought back she's fought back she says uh, yes really those are his dress robes eh very old hand-me-down dress robes Fred and George by run a nicer set of dress robes as uh, as by Harry when Harry gave the twins his tri wizard winnings well zip the ears that well Brian is the cutest doodah to ever doodah I love him uh, Professor Moody was really Barty Crouch Jr. in Polyjuice Potion Disguise, was teaching the students the three unforgivable curses, Cruciatus, Imperius, and Avada Kedavra in Data. Data? Data. That must be one of the films. I can't for the life of me think one, which one it is. In Data. Crime, an absolute brain melt on what that one is what is it what is it <laughs> what is it what is it data there's the the princey one isn't there there's the goblet of fire there's uh prisoner of azkaban oh, there's the first one philosopher's stone I mean, this this must be fascinating. You me trying to remember the Harry Potter, the names of Harry Potter books. It's a token. Let's just leave it at that. It, it's a token. It's a token. Uh, yes. So, uh, Grumpy Mark, uh, Eric. It was sort of amazing. By the way, will you look at this? I think we've had one of these. Um. I think we have, um, hmm, oh I see, that goes there, right, I have to line up on that little red thing. Um, so Grumpy Mark, for, uh, for a time, uh, was chasing us from the past, um, and he, he found the, the Relax With Bricks, and then he decided to watch every single episode from the beginning which is just extraordinary um, so we were getting messages from him from the past um, and we came up with we came up with the whole uh, accent thing and uh, just finding it hilarious that he didn't know yet so we would be getting messages from him and, and he, he didn't know yet that his uh, he had a he had a silly accent. I think he started off with a Scottish accent, and then he became a sort of a, a strange Russian hybrid accent. This is rather nice. 
sorry, it's come out again. That's going up there. Suddenly that's very impressive, isn't it? Hmm. Lovely. Uh, Professor Lego. Uh, group B of the roller coaster options are as follows. Mm. So I don't know where Group A is gone, Professor Lego. Uh, in in fourth place, with not a percent of the votes, it's lack of brakes. In third uh, place, with twenty two percent of the votes, it's Emma's ejection escape. Uh, in second place, with thirty four percent of the votes, it's Kennedy's calamity cars. But in first place. 44% of the vote, it's Kitford, Catapult, Coaster. Hmm. That's good. Um, Kitford O'Berry. I love, he's, he's permanently changed his name to Kitford O'Berry, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, those portion battles are some of the noisiest, nicest details to date. Yes. Yes, that was a lovely little room here, although... There needs to be something under there. Uh, that's, oh, here we are. Oh, for some reason it's now here, Professor Lego. Now we return to naming the roller coaster. With 16 suggestions, it will be a three-day event. Due to pole length constraints, the full titles are Built by the Lowest Bidder, Kennedy's Coaster, the Kifford Albert Memorial Coaster and Kennedy's Klaxon. Oh, gosh, this, this is going to be difficult. In fourth place, with 0%, it's Lois Bitter. In third place, with 16%, it's Kennedy's Klaxon. But in joint first place, with 42%, it's Kennedy's Coaster and the Gifford Obert Memorial Coaster. Mm, that's going to be tricky to, uh, to work that out. Let's put that up there. By the way, I'm fully intending on doing some... Uh, some more ASMR builds, FYI, for those of you who enjoy the uh, the quieter builds. That's uh, very much on my mind to uh, to do. So I'll probably start doing some of those soonish, and then people can choose between. Oh, they can watch both of them, of course. But then people can choose between the chattier club builds and uh, quieter. Uh, ASMR ones. I'm here to cater to all tastes. Oh, somehow that was very satisfying going at that, I must say. Um, Professor Lego, so the new piece today is, I'll just show you the picture of it, do you remember it? That one from yesterday. Uh, is known by Lego as Window Arch Corner Element ID 38585. On Bricklink it goes by Brick Arch 2x2 Corner. It was actually designed for Hogwarts Castle, just not the minifig scale ones. It has only appeared in four sets so far, two of which are from Harry Potter. It was accompanied by the Window Arch piece Element ID 38583 and also new as of the micro scale Hogwarts Castle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, between the two, they create the curved windows in the Great Hall. Will you look at that for a build? Mind you, look, it's, are all those people mini? They're like mini figures of mini figs. Hmm, interesting, interesting. They're micro figs, yeah, they're micro figs. Interesting. So the sticker you are curious about this one represents a blackboard from a school lesson. In the Global Fire, Professor Moody, ex aura, teaches the kids the three unforgivable curses as he believes in a more practical schooling. Uh, Kipford O'Berry says the whole sequence was an Afsted nightmare. Yeah, funny. 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 Look, I'm not doing any building here. Come on. Um, it was an offset nightmare. Uh, I'm not sure the school has any health and safety regulations. No, I, I would probably agree with you on that one. Uh, absolutely no health or safety whatsoever. 
do 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 come the woofers right there right hmm. um Kitford O'Berry says uh, the school is probably operated by the same parent company as Emma's roller coaster <coughs> rude uh, Joe Price says uh, could we please have a frog in the empty cloche assuming one would fit of course hmm let me just get my frog pot. Now then, we're running a bit low on, but we've only got one gold and one yellow. Let's, let's just use a green one. Well, let's see if it goes in. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. Hang on, I've got an idea. I mean, it doesn't really, I mean, that won't go down, but do we care? Oh, it does. Oh, go on. Yes. Okay, we've got frog in cloche. Frog in cloche. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bevis Musson, the Sensei Uncle Strawberry. Uh, the Moaning Mini, the Lego, the, the, the Lego, the, the, the Mutterer, the, uh, the uh, Lego Whisperer. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite a battle to get to the end of his names. I have to say. This is the nearest I've seen to that odd minifigure bottom half. He, of course, uh, refers to this. Uh, is the odd style ghost, the, uh, sorry, the old style ghosts, which have a two times one brick as their legs, but at least they have a full floor length sheet on top. Mm. Mm. Uh, Pink Lady says, I feel that Hermione escaped for adventures and scrapes would be seriously hampered by that lower half. Yes, I, d I don't disagree with you, Pink Lady. Voila. Uh, Wild Renaissance. I got quite distracted during this build by imagining what the love child of, I will rename him, Brian Duda and little Sue would sound like. Go on, have a crack at it, Kennedy. Oh no. I mean, really? Oh, here she comes, little Sue. And she's called little Sue. She's little, she's called Sue. It's little Sue. Hello, it's me, little Sue. Hello, little Sue. Um. <laughs> Uh, um, I just wanted to say that you're doing a voice of Brian Duda, the, the love child of Brian Duda, and Little Song, Little Sue, not Little Song. I don't know. I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I, I'm so discombobulated by the, the idea of me having a love child with Brian Duda that that I've gone, I've lost my mind. <laughs> but in any way, it would be wrong on all sorts of levels. Hmm. Let's see what Brian thinks about that. I really, I, I do, I do, what, I, what, I've got a love child, <laughs> what? No, it's, it's all right, it's all right, Brian, it's all right, it's all right, Brian, just, it's just wild renaissance with just, she's French. Oh, okay, go on, off you, off you go, off you go, Brian. <laughs> so wait. Uh, Emma, you sounded very out of breath after Brian Duda, break separator, finished speaking. The, what do you know, little Sue? 
do 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 this is nice isn't it this is nice isn't it um voila and voila ooh oh okay Uh, Faye, uh, what's in the background? It looks like a set of doors with dollar signs on it. Oh, yes, this. I got this. Um, I think it was on fire, uh, fire toys. And I thought, oh, that looks like it's got useful bits in it. So I just got it. But I rather, I rather, I sort of got it for the, oh no, for the safe really, which I rather liked. But um, annoyingly, it came, it came built. What's, also, I don't know what this does. Oh, it, oh, it does that, okay. Right, okay, so it's like some sort of, it came built, which I wasn't terribly happy about, I must say. Um, I mean, it didn't quite, I mean, it was next to nothing. But uh, safe is quite good. But who sent, who sent, who sends Lego built? Seriously. Anyway, that's the, that's what that is. That's that moan over. Um, Pink Lady. Notes and Queries, part one. Ooh, ooh, quick, quick, quick. I know what this is about. Ooh. Emma asked why the Ionic Volutes. The Ionic Volutes are used inside the building. The answer is that they can appear wherever columns are used. The classical orders are based on the hierarchy of columns and capitals, the decorated elements at the top I mentioned yesterday. I gave you an image yesterday which showed various capitals, all ionic, uh, incorporating the volutes. See left pick. This is the second in the hierarchy Below it is the Doric and above the Corinthian sea right pick. Look, Doric, Ionic, Ionic volute, Corinthian. Look how we're learning things. It's so good, isn't it? The capitals and columns can be used indoors as well as outside. See, for instance, this picture. Oh, look, yes, look, Ionic volutes. Ionic volutes, can you see them? The auditory in Liverpool and the volutes can be used in isolation as an architectural feature to indicate the structure's role in the classical hierarchy. However, here in a Gothic building, there is no classical language to the architecture, so they are merely a satisfying decorative device used as brackets under a beam. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pink Lady. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pink Lady. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, now, what is, where is this going? Oh, in front. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rosie Lee, I am not okay with this. Friends Amusement Park Arcade, set 4-4. Four, sorry, set 41127. What, what can this... Oh! <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Oh, no, that's absolutely unacceptable. Sorry, that's absolutely unacceptable, and it must have one of those. Absolutely unacceptable. What? That's not right. Um, um, hello. Oh, yes, hello, little Sue. Yes, hello. Um, could you give a spoiler alert? Oh, yeah. What, what, what's this for, then? A spoiler alert? Yeah, what for? Um, uh, a bit like when they give football results. Yes. Before showing us the membership packs, 
I'd like the super surprise when it arrives. Ah, yes, okay, I will, because I, I've, I've got some news on this. Do you remember we've been waiting for the enamel badges? And then the membership uh, packs are ready to be sent out. Uh, well, I had an email yesterday, and the enamel badges are arriving on Monday. Monday! Uh, so that means that uh, membership packs for the uh, Patreon Gooses uh, will be being sent out on a Tuesday. Um, and what you get in your membership pack, you obviously get your membership uh, wallet, your, your Afflewack gang member uh, membership wallet uh, with your membership card. And you'll get a badge, a goose badge, uh, according to what goose you are. You'll get an enamel badge, a very special enamel badge, of which there are only a hundred. And will never be repeated. Um, and uh, you're also going to get um, a little pit. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to draw in each and every one of them a little um, unique picture, just for you. So that's what you're going to be getting. But I will hope, hopefully, if they arrive in, if they arrive, if the enamel badges arrive before um, I do the build on Monday, I will show you the whole pack. Uh, but if not, I will um, show you on Tuesday. But if you are sitting thinking, oh, I'll wait, I'll wait to sign up as a Patreon. I'm going to wait for those membership packs to arrive. Well, they're coming next. They're coming next week, and they will be being sent out next week. But yes, little Sue, I will give a spoiler alert, and I will tell you to look away now if you don't want the uh, surprise of what your membership pack is going to look, look like before you get it. If you want the surprise, yeah. Oh, now look, we're making something nice here. Let's go in. Let's go in a bit more. Yes, lovely. Let's push that right out so it just. Hmm. Um, Ruth Hayes. Um, Zippity for the doodah, Brick Separator, is a master stroke. Yeah, well, yes, but he's Brian. I'm Brian. Brian. All right, all right, Brian. Thank you. Um, please, please give him a hug, Emma. Yes, I've I've done that. I think Moody on the blackboard is referring to Mad Eye Moody. Can't think what Unforgivable could be referring to because I can't remember the storyline exactly. Well, we've had we've had that covered now. Yeah. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. It's uh, Jackie Swan. Uh, she's. Why isn't that focusing on that? It's not. It's, it doesn't want to focus. Oh well, I'll just pull it up. Um, just lovely build today. Shame about the sneaky infiltrator. Hmm. Who are you referring to? I didn't. There was no Kenneth yesterday. Hmm. Who are you referring to? And then Katie Hall says we just can't have nice things. Thanks, twenty twenty. What? What? I, I love I, I do love it when I've just clearly obviously just missed things entirely why doesn't that want to oh there we go that's better isn't it um oh Annie Miller Annie Miller are, are you I think you're new let's welcome you in Annie Miller hello Annie Miller she says in a world where I am constantly beeped at by machines the oven the washing machine, the photocopy at work, etc. The simple sound of bricks clicking together is so soothing. I could listen to it all day. I hope there is lots of clicking when you do the silent builds. Oh yes, there's there's loads. Yes, Ruth Hayes agrees. She says, yes, Annie, I love the different sounds they make, particularly when it's really soft. Um, yes, don't you worry. I'm going to start doing more um, uh, little ASMR builds that will include just... Oh, can be anything. Can be putting together. Can be 
sorting things. Or it could be little, very small little builds. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, we're making two of those, so that's even better. Uh, Angie Wood, we welcomed her in yesterday. Let's welcome her in again. <laughs> oh yes, this is our uh, this is our, our new Scottish pal. <clears throat> I'm preparing myself for the accent. I've just sorted myself a new three-in-one Lego set, the Caravan Family Holiday. Don't tell my wife. Can't apologise enough. Can't apologise enough, Angie. <laughs> oh, then we've got another. Then we've got another uh, new member, Samantha Wood. Oh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> he just says the wife knows. Oh, I love it. We've got a married couple in in, in amongst us. Oh, this is exciting. <gasps> oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is exciting. We have a new member. Relax with mole. You remember from yesterday, I, I divulged that there is a mole. There is a mole who is uh, feeding me uh, a little bit of Afawak uh, behind the scenes intel. They seek him here, they seek him there. Those Afawak seek him everywhere. Is he in heaven or is he in hell? That damned elusive mole. Who is it? Who could it be? Who could it be? Audible gasp. Who could it be? <laughs> Who could it be? Pink Lady is also saying audible gasp. Who dis? And then Kipford Berry. Oh dear God. That concludes club business. On that bombshell. Right, let's enjoy building this. I mean, I know who the mole is. <laughs> Nobody else does. Lovely, two little beds. That's really nice. two of these.
Lovely. Side lamps. Really nice. Oh, it's because it's not in. Okay. Nice little moving part. Just fell out. Oh, the window. The lattice. to crumb.
sorry, that's not right. That's rather nice, isn't it? And that's it. That's it. Uh, so that uh, was uh, bag five. And hasn't it come on? Absolutely tremendous. Love the, this little tableau in here. I've got the frog in there, so that's good. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I will try and do uh, another little uh, build today. Um, uh, maybe a couple of a little ASMR ones I'll put up uh, for later. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but if not, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.